All right, with that, we will call the meeting to order, please, with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Sounds like this could be one of the last nice weeks before it starts getting to be cold. Hate to even use the word. Um, roll call, Mr. Lumberg. Hello. Yes. Odie. Yes. Saxer. Yes. Scott. Yes. Bell. Yes. All right. With that, I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda as presented, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All of those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. No conflict of interest or uh, interest disclosure or waiver requests this evening takes us to our community input and... Mm -hmm. I am not seeing anyone from the community out in the audience to give us any input tonight. So that takes us to general business items under administration reports, superintendent reports, Superintendent Larson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just a couple items to uh, update the board on here this evening. Uh, no change to our timeline regarding our strategic plan. Look for adoption uh, and presentation here um, this winter. Uh, fall enrollment, we will be submitting our fall uh, enrollment sign-off sheet to the DOE here. It's due prior to October 31st, so that'll go in here uh, in the next day or two. No change uh, to that in terms of a student enrollment. We are up 114 students uh, from our 2023 fall enrollment uh, with, for a total of 5,130 kids JK through 12. Uh, Eastside Elementary continues to progress. Um, foundations are, uh, are being poured and worked on um, as they uh, continue to uh, move through that respective process. Um, no change to the timeline. Completion uh, in June of 2026, open for the fall of 2026. Um, we we'll just note that we are starting that uh, design process with our architects. Um, in terms of the middle school as we work through that, uh, that piece of uh, the process should have full, hopefully have some additional information for the Board of Education on that um, at an upcoming meeting. Uh, the South Dakota DOE public report card that was released uh, here um, middle, of, uh, middle of October will review our public report card data at the State of the Schools address um, in late November. Retired BV staff holiday luncheon, Thursday, December 5th. Um, would certainly uh, like to invite uh, the Board of Education to that, specifically if possible, would at least like to have one representative there, um, if, uh, if that can work. I know Mr. Odie attended last year and uh, it was very well received and he also enjoyed his opportunity. So um, if you're available, please join us. Uh, legislative breakfast, if you would please mark your calendar for Thursday, December 12th at 7 a.m. We will host our Brandon Valley legislative breakfast with our respective uh, legislators here in the community room. Uh, the academic calendar is in the process of uh, being developed. Our various committees uh, are um, reviewing that or will be reviewing that. At this point in time, I look for there to be a presentation at our first meeting in January and potential adoption at our second meeting in January. Uh, in terms of this, uh, this year's academic calendar, there is no school on November 11th uh, for Veterans Day. Please note that that is a Monday and that does impact our first November Board of Education meeting. Board of Education meeting has been moved to Tuesday the 12th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, there's no school Wednesday through Friday, November 27th through the 29th for uh, Thanksgiving break. We have a two-hour early dismissal on December 20th. There's no school December 23rd through January 1st through for winter break. Uh, Madam Chair, that's all I have for you here this evening. Would certainly entertain any questions you have, but before I forget, I do want to send a special shout out to the Brandon Valley High School dance team that just recently won uh, their fourth consecutive state title. And usually I wouldn't slide this comment in. I'd allow Activities Director Frecking to do it at the next meeting. But I certainly think that when you talk about back to back to back 
to back state titles, uh, it's relevant of, a sh relevant of a shout out at the first available opportunity. So hats off to uh, Coach Hoffman and all of our student athletes that are participating on our dance team as they have uh, put another notch in the belt and hung another banner on the wall. So uh, special congratulations to them as well. With that, would certainly entertain any questions that you have. All right, hearing none, we will keep on going here. No board policy. That takes us to item number one under general business to approve the agreement between the Brandon Valley School District and Teach Well Solutions for a substitute speech language therapist at Fred Assam, uh, 5.35 a day, 67 an hour, effective October 26 to November 26, 2024 is presented. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All of those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Personnel, I would entertain a motion to approve items one through six, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All of those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Items seven through ten are for your information only. Um, under communication, I don't think there was much under that tab this evening. So that takes us to board reports. Does anyone have a board report they would like to share? Member Saxer, would you like? Please fill in the gaps. So just to remember that this upcoming October 30th, so what is that, Wednesday, um, we are hosting the ASBSD regional meeting. Uh, so you'll be able to attend, um, have dinner with all of us, um, as well as meet the new executive director, uh, Heath Larson. So we're very excited to host that. So for anybody that is interested, please uh, register um, so we get a good head count for food um, and let Jennifer know at the central office. Uh, Madam Chair, I would note that I have uh, I have registered our entire board and Mr. Lundberg for the event. So if you're able to attend, you are registered. We got you in the food count. And uh, I believe it's a 5 p.m. meal-ish or 5. Uh, and then the program begins at 6. So uh, look, forward to, uh, look forward to having everyone join the Ken. Thanks, Ellie. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have anything this evening? Had our Teach Well meeting and that... Things seem to be going along just fine there. Um, Trial Nutrition Wellness, there was a meeting also for that group. Um, wellness Challenge coming and some other information that uh, Assistant Director Eddie was able to fill us in on. So um, exciting things in our nutrition department and they do a wonderful job. So anyone else? All right. Oh, Go ahead. Um, I'm I'm on building and grounds and I, we didn't have a meeting, but just driving by, I noticed that you're building those two cabins for Yogi Bear or, and they're taking shape, right? All right, thank you. Um, travel reports, there's one there for your review. Um, one last thing, if you have no dinner plans tomorrow, I hear a rumor that there's a large meal and <laughs> couple shows at the Commons with the turkey um, supper and indoor marching show. So come on over and let us feed you. That takes us to the end of our agenda. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you and thank you everyone for coming.